The stars in the skies are going out one by one. But no one notices it. No one can stop it. I'm racing to the last place where there's still hope. I need to make it before. Before it's too late. The sounds of agony will quickly fade. The world will be destroyed, even the memory of it will be gone. And even if there is absolutely no chance in bringing it all back, there will always be someone who is willing to do the impossible. In a place without space. Without time. Without memories. The loop hero. Where am I? I can't see anything except this path. My head is killing me. I remember only the skeleton with the staff in the sky. This darkness was coming from him. Did he destroy everything around here? Just standing here won't do me any good. I guess I... I'm planning phase. Okay. The change between adventure, traveling through the map, and planning stop modes. Press the switch, right click, or space. Continue your journey by changing the game mode. Hope I'll be able to find some shelter before nightfall, if such a thing as, as a night so even exists without a sky, of course. Pay attention to the day progress bar at the top of the screen. New enemies usually appear at the end of the day. Continue your journey by changing the game mode. Space, right click, mode switch. A living ball of slime. Quite a nuisance. They digest anything they can. Hey, I remember this creature. Maybe I just need to freshen up my memory and everything will go back to normal. Traveling, fighting, and most other actions are done automatically. The player can't affect them directly. Press anywhere to continue. Okay, Elo. It's hard to fight with your bare hands. I think there's a weapon in the remains of this thing that's not fully digested. Digested. You have an inventory and an item slot. You know what to do. Equip an item to continue. I got a sword, which is 4 to 6 damage. Put this in my sword slot. I think I remember that there was a grove nearby. Are these even my memories? Or do they belong to that slime? Interesting. You can use cards that are left after defeating enemies to add various new objects to the map. That's what planning mode is for. Drag the card to a suitable space to remember the land. Good. Now continue your journey. I added a grove. It's also a cozy game up here. He was represent upon entering. A grove. A gentle rustle of... Ooh. Oh, you found the... Like the... A rat wolf. 4... H, uh, 16 HP. 3.42 damage. You know, attacks per second is living and it has a soul. Oh, by killing it, I get a, another uh, weapon. Forest Rat Wolf. I was right. Some emotional stress, a few colorful images, and a bit of adrenaline, and everything will be forgotten like a bad dream. Or remembered as a bad. Damn. That's good that nobody's listening. You can get new items and cards during battle, as you've probably already noticed. Some items have unique abilities, as do most of the cards. By hovering over an item or a card, you can inspect its properties. Equip a new weapon and place a new card on the map to continue. This is 3 to 5. This has some defense to it. Alright, there's a place of forest somewhere. A thick forest, nobody knows who or what could be lurking inside. It makes you a bit nervous. Plus 1% hero attack speed. I'm nervous, so I attack faster. Let's put it over here. What is this? You can get new items and cards during battles. Okay, equip a new weapon. Okay, let's put this rock somewhere. Its magnificent appearance gives you strength. Plus 2 HP. Plus 2 more HP for every adjacent rock or mountain. Great. So there was a mountain over there, and here is a forest. The world is just like new. The branches and stones in my backpack are a sure sign of that. Some of your actions will yield resources that you will need later on. But right now. But not right now. But that shouldn't stop you from looking at them right now. Continue your journey by changing the game mode. This is cool. A 
think it's time to get some rest. I did a, a whole a whole loop around this place. The game itself is a journey on a loop's path. Only you would decide when it is time for the hero to return to camp. Either you or the fangs and claws of your enemies, of course. You can retreat almost any time, but a special animation will let you know when it's safer to do so. Retreat to the camp by pressing the button. A cozy camp, a comfortable place to stay. It's strange, but all monsters try to keep away from it. He goes 20% upon entering. This is the icon for safer to retreat. Return to camp, hold, turn on auto, return by the campfire. Let's click it. The thought of leaving the battlefield and going back to your cozy camp has passed through your mind. What a timely idea. The camp is just around the corner. Retreat. You keep all resources. I will keep a preserved rock, apparently untouched by the lich's curse and thus suitable for building despite the shapelessness of the world. And I also keep the stable wood, a log that somehow managed to keep its structural integrity despite the general chaos. Let's retreat and keep these resources. Evening, he peeks. That's cold and dark here. A small fire can solve both of these problems. Nice place to set up camp. This is when all resources you've gathered will come in handy. Who would have thought? You have just enough wooden stones to make a campfire. What a nice coincidence. Build a campfire using the building function while in a camp. Press the build button, select the campfire, and place it. I'm going to build this campfire, which requires one wood, one stone. A common campfire, warm and cozy. Monsters keep away from it, so it's a nice spot to have some rest between your travels. It's also the center of your camp and the starting point of your adventures. The hero restores 20% of his- okay. Nice place to set up camp, here we go. Build it right here. Congratulations. You've beaten this annoying tutorial. You can now start your first expedition. Or not. Do as you wish. Click anywhere to complete the tutorial. I'm done. Why is it not going through? Expedition. Start. Okay, here we go. New beginning. This path. Everything is wrong, but I remember. It looks like a completely different place, and it's empty again. Do my actions have any meaning? Like I have a choice. If I need to give up and cry to save the world, I am the worst savior of all. Let's do it. Classic protagonist. Slimes. Slimes abound everywhere. Let's let these slimes die. They gave me cards, weapons, items, something. I've got a mountain and a meadow. Let's pause. Let's place this somewhere. It's like a rock, but really big. Plus HP for each adjacent rock or mountain. Let's make a mountain right here. I want to leave it in a space where I can fill it all types of rocks and mountains around it and a meadow earth covered with a thick carpet of grass nothing really interesting unless you're a cow of course heals 2 HP at the start of each day let's put a nice meadow right here I get plus 2 HP per day very cool begin more slimes Pause. Another meadow. We're healing 4 HP at the start of the day. It's perfect. That's a great sustain. And look at the progress of the day. The progress of the day is the enemies are going to come at the end of it. So let's first and foremost, let's remove this. Um... What's the valley? How you doing, buddy? Let's remove this jar for right now. Alright. Continue. Continue on. Oh, I found a shield. Pause. Add the shield. Got some defense now. Almost missed that. More slimes. You can't touch me. I also heal. Even if you were to touch me. Ooh, pause. A spider cocoon. A silky bastion of eight-legged hunters. Spawns a spider and ad on an adjacent little tile once a day. Alright, let's spawn um, spiders up here when I'm more equipped to deal with them. Sure thing. More loot. Map completion. When this bar is filled, the boss of this chapter will appear on the campfire tile. So we're nowhere near complete. We just passed the day. And the day should mean the spawning of new enemies. I can also affect the game speed. Let's not do that just yet. And based on this right here, it looks like... Oh, never mind. Let's continue. What's up, Keeks? 
More slimes. Pathetic slimes. Hmm. Pause. Got a grove. A gentle rustle of leaves, a crack of dry branch, and a feeling of being watched. Spawns a rat wolf every two days. The wolf can move to an adjacent. Let's put a, a meadow over here. And we're going to approach it and fight it. Continue. A four defense, four HP per day. Where's my HP, HP bar? Now that we're talking about it, where's my HP bar? First blood. Pause. Whoa. I found a dead branch. Oh, that's cool. Also, I have an axe. Let's equip that. Now we have 8 to 12 damage. Wonderful. Where is my HP? I found stable branches. Somehow the memory of these sticks wasn't lost. 12 pieces of stick form a beam of stable wood. I have 2 rations, which is a small amount of food. And I got preserved pebbles. Small stones that still remember how the world used to look. When you hold them, you're able to vaguely remember it's for a few seconds too. 10 pieces of pebble form one preserved rock. 12 rations form a whole food supply. So, where is my, uh, HP, for that matter? I guess I see when I'm in battle. Let's continue. At the end of the day, so a new monster has spawned, and boom, a spider has been spawned. I guess I can't see my HP for, for say, but I have a mountain. This is good. For each adjacent rock or mountain, I get plus 5 HP, so let's put that right here. Boom. And that should give us plus 10 max HP, and yes it does. We have plus 10 max HP. Like a relic, so to speak. Very cool. Under my equipment is my HP. I see it now. 237 and a 260. Very nice. I want to fight that spider. We got another meadow. Oh. We're healing 6 HP at the start of the day. Oh, we also found a noticeable change. This is enough to turn a caterpillar into a butterfly, a seed into a sprout, or a drop of water into steam. It will turn itself into something else, too, if you collect enough of it. 20 changes form a complete metamorphosis. What an interesting concept. What an interesting concept. Continue. So I do have the full release. This is like the beta release, I believe. So I should, we should see some more of the game. But by me playing it, you should see more of the game. I'm about to approach a campfire. But I want to keep looping. I, can, I, I don't have to go to campfire. I want to keep looping, right? Pause. Armor. Max HP. Incredible. And another shield. This shit's worse than the other one. What do I do with shields that are worse? Who knows? Ooh, pause. Rock, you put it here. And that adds a lot of max HP. Matter of fact. Yeah, our max HP is we're dripping to max HP. We also have more armor and another shield, but these are bad stuff. Who cares about that stuff? Continue on. I don't have the rest of the campfire, right? Ooh, let's fight these spiders. I think we want to fight these spiders. Let's go back around. I could rest if I wanted to, but I won't. I also healed up by just passing through it. And since we're taking some time, let's loop faster. These slimes are nothing but... Chump change. Pause. Whoa. Interesting. This is an interesting shield. But it's no better than the other one. This is a worse set of armor. Is there any point where I can drop this on the ground? Probably. Let's test it. I guess not. At some point, I would just have to equip it so that I... Actually, I have an idea. Oh, never mind. Battlefield. This smells of blood and steel. It spawns a chest at the start of each loop. Enemies on adjacent towers can become ghosts. Let's put this right here. I want a chest right here. Absolutely, Battlefield. Go. Pause. Colored meadow has 3 HP at the start of the day as opposed to- Oh, I forgot. I didn't read that. My bad. This is a blooming meadow. Flowers get a feel for the world and bloom with pleasant smells. So this is a 3 plus 3 HP. So in total, I have a uh, heal for uh, 7 HP per day. 2, 2, 3. We also found another uh, gladius, which is not that good for me. What we can do is equip this since it's the same as kind of rotate it out, right? Alright, continue on. Battlefield. This be a chest. Punch just at the start of each loop. Okay. Boom. Rat wolf. This is full release. Full release here. Very nice. Alright. Treasury. Let's just pause after this one. 
Pause. Oh, more battlefields. Okay, it's a treasury. The thick walls guard all kinds of riches from thieves and previous owners. It gives a random resource at their place in anything on an adjacent tile. It can't be built adjacent to anything. It gives a random resource at their place in anything on an adjacent tile. Let's put a treasury here, right? The reason why is I'm gonna build rocks adjacent here. Perfect. I put a rock right here. And now we get a random resource. Beautiful. Carry on. Lots of spiders here, lots of spiders. A shield is 3 defense, but it gives you more attack speed. Absolutely. It's also a ring. Counter plus 10%. Equip that bad boy. Very nice. Continue on. Ooh. Ooh, I gotta take a look at this stuff. One sec, I gotta pause. Slow this game down a little bit. Alright, we're losing some health, but we can heal up. Ooh, a nice counter. Stop. Alright, we got a... Another axe, we have a ring that does damage to all. I have two slots for rings, don't I? Or are those not ready yet? Ay ay ay, okay. So this is Vampire Mansion. Hungry eyes follow your every move through the holes in the roof. Adds vampires to battles on adjacent tiles. Another mountain. Give you more max HP and another resource. A meadow for more healing. I can put the meadow next to this, but I want to surround this by rocks. I want this to be my mountain range. So we're healing currently 9 HP per day. The day is what progress up here. And we have a decent amount of max HP. Let's continue on. Let's take a look at what these are. Just a lot of various nonsense. This ring, plus your damage to all. Uh, out fully, uh, I think, tomorrow. March 11? March 11 or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Oh, another rock. This place is over here. Ah. Boom, more resources. Now we're rolling in the resources. I could technically leave. I mean... But why not keep looping? Let's keep looping. A day had passed, and I healed 9 HP. Glorious. Pause. Spider cocoon. It's silky bastion. All right. Let's make a little spider cocoon over here. It's like spider central. I want spiders all over there. Another mountain. Add it over here. Actually, this is insane. Um, let's do that. We're rolling in the max HP right now. We have 153. Now we're about to enter a battlefield now. It spawns a chest at the start of each loop. So, there should be a chest. After I pass this campfire, a chest should spawn both of you. And we're going to get two chests here. I'm not done with him, no, I'm not. I'm not done with him, no. Alright, we're going to rest, boom. Get a little tiny heal. I guess, let's get these chests. Cool game. Pause. A beacon. A worthless landmark in a world with no direction. Plus 40% movement speed within his range. Plus 20% attack speed for all units. For all units, including enemies? Within his range. Whoa. So I want this to be in an area where... This is very interesting. Within his range you get more movement speed. Right here. But I also want to have attacks me when I'm attacking the spiders, right? So this is weird. I want to get the most bang for my buck. So I want movement speed, which is great. But I also want attack speed when I'm... Well, the attack speed is regardless if it's in the range, right? So let's get the movement speed for right here. Whoa. It's 
Better cocoon. More cocoons. But now everything has plus 20% attack speed, right? That's interesting. I wonder if that's worth it. I'm faster. Look at me. Boom. Chest. He's dropping frames. I shouldn't be dropping frames here. I had Comcast come in. What I... Oh, whoa! Attack speed and evasion. Yes, sir. It's also blue. That means it's a little bit more rare. I'm assuming uncommon. This is yellow, which I'm assuming is rare. This is uncommon. That's just my fledgling analysis. 10 to 16 damage, 9% counter, and 1.2 region per second, which is fantastic. Incredible. All right, so we're making some loops. <clears throat> About to get another chest. But I realized I should probably... Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know when I should end this loop adventure. I had no idea. Who knows? Let's see what the chest has to offer. I find it interesting. I want to pause real quick because I want to mention something to you guys. How... Pause. I find it interesting. Oh, that's, that's really nice armor, by the way. Wow. This makes everything move faster, but also everything attack faster. So in general, the whole loop is getting faster. So faster, faster loop. We've got another treasury. So whenever we place things adjacent to this, can not be placed anything else. So if I put this, my mountain ridge, technically start giving me a lot of resources, right? We have a meadow here. Actually, we have even more healing. All right, so we got new armor. Max HP plus 246, magic damage two, evasion two, uh, 11%. This is incredible. This has 16% counter. I don't know what I prefer more, counter or evasion. Well, currently, I have evasion already with the spring. We have we've counter with the spear, so I can go to the counter of the evasion. I like the uh, the evasion to do that, and that's very nice. Eventually, we'll get more access to other gear, but for right now, this is good. All right, there's a lot of spiders. How are we gonna handle this? We're very healthy. The day just started. We healed up a little bit. We healed 13. This guy's a little bit of a beat. Ooh, whoa. Pause. This has even more max HP. I lose some magic damage, but I gain even I gain a lot more max HP. I would do it. Road Lantern, a small spot of light in this grim world, decreases the maximum number of mountains of uh, monsters on adjacent tiles. The effective lanterns can stack. So there's a lot of monsters here, right? So this this look at that. Look at all these monsters, right? Now, I just deleted, just deleted one of those spiders because there was too many in that square. There's about to be four, now it's three, which is great. I'm about to fight three things, though. Let's see how this goes. We have 563 HP. Let's go. A rat wolf and two spiders. I'm evading. He evaded. I got some counter, though. Well, this is hurting. But I do have some counters, which is great. I'm liking the counters. Whoa. Pause. This is a, a 3 defense shield with 4, four stack speed, but this is a 14 defense, 15 defense shield. Sure thing, buddy. Also, a rock. Add it here. And a mountain. And now we're getting resources up the wazoo. We are rolling in it. Absolutely rolling in it. We got one stable wood. We got some noticeable changes. We got some scrap metal. Small pieces of metal that survived the Lich's curse. Sometimes this is all that remains from armor or sword that you haven't looked at for a while. 13 pieces of scrap metal make for one bar of stable metal. Very cool. Continue on. Three spiders, how's it gonna go? I'll figure it all out on my own. Pause. I don't need any help. So, interesting. So here's the point that happened. My inventory is full, and as I got a new thing, the last item in the slot got removed and replaced with a scrap metal or a, a resource of some sort. So all these bad things are gonna turn into resources, which is great. Another mountain, another rock. We're rolling it. Now we have one preserved rock and one stable wood. Keep going. We're not gonna die. We're healthy as can be. The soundtrack's amazing. I don't need any help in any game, so I, I'm confident I can handle anything. Oblivion. A bit of the Lich's magic causes anything to be totally forgotten. Erases any established tiles. Erases monsters from the road. Whoa. So I can hold on to this. I 
can hold on to this. What is this ring, by the way? Trash. When would I want to destroy any established tiles? And I guess with monsters become too too crazy. I want to get these chests, so let's just keep going on. I I'm so healthy as can be. Cemetery. A place for the dead, and for some of the living occasionally. Spawns a skeleton every three days. Okay. Interesting. Let's put that over here. So I want to have a hard fight. A skeleton fight seems relatively hard, right? Let's do it over here. And as soon as we're done with this, we can heal. So let's do that. Seems scary. Skeleton seems like it might be a problem. Who knows? I have to get a chest. What do we got here? Another day, another heal. Boom. Pause. Incredible. This has less defense, but it does damage to all. Actually, I lied. It has three defense and damage to all. Absolutely equip it. This has 13 to 19 damage, so the damage is better, but I lose the counter. I don't care. I like the damage. Do I? I like the damage. 9% counter versus the damage. Let's take the damage. Go on, carry on. We're getting big. Look at our stats. Matter of fact, I should move my camera. Let's move my camera over here. Alright. Pause. A gentle rustle of leaves. Okay, spawns a rat wolf. Let's put some more rat wolves over here. I'm not scared of no groves. What is this again? The vampire mansion. Hungry eyes. Adds vampires to battles on adjacent tiles. Oh, that's scary. Let's uh, let's put some let's space out the rat wolf over here. All right, we have two, two. What are these? What are, what are these monsters? Let's find out. What are these? Stop. Ah. Huh. Where did these goblins come from? I don't remember. Remembering you, we remembered ourselves. Now give us all you've got. Sigh, you have no idea what's going on, right? Why don't you help me restore order in this world first, and then you can do anything you want. Goblin must rob. No other order in the world. Fair enough. Guess I don't have any valid objection here. Oh wait, I do have one. How about smack you in the face? Okay, they're fast. Oh, but oh, but I counter them. Boom. What is this little thing? Ooh, beautiful. It's strange how these creatures appeared here on their own. Maybe it means everything is actually not so bad and that the world is trying to restore itself. That even the apocalypse isn't enough to get rid of some of these pests. Pause. More damage. Less region per second, but more damage. Yes, sir. Another chest coming up. Hello, reloading. Let's see what we got from this chest. I'm ready for some goodies. Boom! A ring that has counter instead of evasion. I, I take it back. It has evasion and counter. I lose attack speed, but I get a counter and evasion. All right. Um, sure thing. Let's do it. Oh, goblin coming out of nowhere. Oh, wait. Stop. Goblin camp. The sound of backstabbing can be heard from miles away. Spawns a go goblin addition tile once a day appears for every 10 mountain ah For every 10 mountain rock tile or rock tiles Well, that's, that looks like that looks like an error for every 10 mountain or rock tiles A ring replaces goes into nothingness Peter so All right, some rat wolves. Oh, we have two stable woods now We're losing some health here, so we should Boom pause boom more max HP with low, no counter. I don't like it. I don't like it. Another meadow. This place. Oh, the meadow is. All right. Let's have a field of meadows over here. I don't know where to put this next meadow. I don't know. Maybe as I get better at the game, I'll understand the tragedy of this meadow placement. But for now, a meadow over there, and a rock over here. Ooh, and we got whoa, another rock. And another meadow. Gorgeous. Boom. More rocks. I 
Our max speed is 400 plus, plus 476. This is great. Should I oblivion those little spiders? The spiders are not scary, right? Oh my god, more mountains, more rocks. Wow, our max speed is rolling. Alright, we can handle this fight, yeah? More mountains, more rocks. Now I'm curious, can I pause in the middle and place this? In the middle of a fight? Whoa, look at the resources I'm getting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just pause, 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 pause. Holy shit. Holy shit, okay. So this is... Gives me attack speed. Gives me evasion. What is this? This gives me magic damage. This gives me attack speed. A little bit less defense, but it gives me 8 attack speed versus damage to all. Let's leave all this as, as is. Oh my god, Row Lantern. So this increases the number of maximum monsters on adjacent tiles. It's going to stack. So if I put this over here, for instance, there's only two spiders maximum in those tiles, for instance, which is interesting. Another Grove. So since I have road lands here, I'm going to put a lot of groves and stuff like that because there's not that many maximum things that can happen here. Another meadow. And, uh, and we're rolling in the resources right now. This is great. Spiders are pretty easy, though. Boom. More rocks. I want to leave space for more treasuries, if possible. More groves. Again, there's not that much max... I can put all these groves here because the road lands just prevent them, you know? It's great, it's great, it's great stuff. Look at these resources. Loving it. That's awesome. That's awesome, Elo. Hope it's good news. Pause. Nope, carry on. Alright, skeleton. First skeleton battle. Here it is. 12. 18. 19. Boom, kill them. Attack too fast. Attack speed is wonderful. Attack speed is so wonderful that I want to actually say, you know what? I don't care about counter or evasion or even region, for instance. I want attack speed and attack speed only. And that's what I'm going to get. As a matter of fact, there's an attack speed shield right here. I'm using it. And now we have 16 attack speed. The scimitar is attack speed, but that's not worth it. Let's be attack speed build up. Sounds fun. Go on, carry on. Oh, awesome, Elo. That's great news. Another spider cocoon. Again, I have no fear of cocoons because this roll enters are taking care of all those maximum squares. We're gonna heal when we enter here. Music's getting more intense. Let's carry on. More chest, ready? Boom, two more chests. And the loop gets harder. More goblins. The more rocks, the more goblins. But I also get my chests. Whoa. Plus 90% counter. Wow. That's got to be worth it. A little bit less defense. Two less defense, but 19% counter. I'm going to try that out. Sorry, attack speed. I already I forgot about you already. 33% counter. Wonderful. All right, goblins, how are you going to do? I got to put a roll lantern next to these goblin camps. Last thing I want is a crazy amount of goblins in once. Look at this. This is kind of a hard fight. What does that do? Living has a soul. Rage. Enrages after an ally dies. Plus 30% damage. Whoa. Enrage is a problem. This is goblin leader. has 77 max HP and has 26, 26 damage. Attacks 1 point. Okay, cool. Good stats. Oh, he's mad. Oh, more evasion. Stop. Well, can evasion or counter? I mean, this has more defense. I like the defense. The defense is too much to pass on. That's seven more defense. That's, that's everything. Two more goblins. Here we go. I'm running low on life. Eh, not really. We're fine. This is the leader, though, so... Counter is bad for the goblins because... The counter... Kills a small guy, makes the leader get enraged, and now this is a bad fight. He's at, he's angry. Alright, not bad. Pause. Add a meadow. Now, beacon. Again, the beacon adds 
40% movement speed and attack speed for all units. That includes me. So we can add more. Oh my god, these spider cocoons are gonna be crazy. Now, is it for all units within the range or just for um, a global buff? Let's put it over here and let's test it out. Let's see if the spiders get um, more attack speed. Now, what's interesting is that that looks like a random thing that spawned, like a ghost for some instance. So we noticed, I'm not sure what that is, but we noticed that when we spawn a lot of rocks, we get goblin huts. So if I spawn multiple beacons, maybe something happens, for instance, or meadows, or whatever. It looks like a ghost. And it says something about the battlefield can become ghosts. Uh, okay, so that's what happened. These things became ghosts. Cool. Attack is a really bad stat. More evasion. Ah, oh, this is good. 3% more evasion. Sure thing. Two less defense. Evasion is looking alright. Pause. Another vampire mansion. Is that vampires to these battles? Oh boy. It's scary. Let's do it. Ooh, ominous. Another beacon. Yeah, this soundtrack is great. You guys can barely hear. I, I can turn it up. More beacons. Ooh, hoo hoo hoo. I can turn the music up a little bit. Probably not, probably not like you. That's something I'll have to learn. Like holding on to the, the beacons could be useful. I might have to end the journey soon because I'm getting low on life. More evasion. Uh, it's just an evasion ring. Another vampire mansion, another rock. I like, I would like the max HP. Every... So it spawns skeleton every three days. Huh. It's gonna be interesting. Alright, a lot of spiders. This is trying to hurt. Uh, I wonder if I can make it through this loop. I need to, I need some more of this uh, this good stuff. Max HP please. Can I make it through this loop? I gave him a lot of attack speed, so this is really dangerous. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I gave him way too much attack speed. It's bad. Meadow. Uh-oh. Uh, can I make it through this loop? More, more, more max HP. Stop. Pause, pause, pause. Oh no, I didn't get to pause for max HP. Oh, I think I'm dead. There's vampires here. Uh oh. Oh, there are lesson learned. Enemy level is five. Look at the top. Back off, human. A vampire! Where are your lands? If your farmers need help, I will be glad to offer it. No more lands. No more flock. Only hundreds of years of emptiness. And hundreds of years of hunger! Save yourself while you still can. I don't know how long I will be able to keep my head straight. What hundreds of years are you talking about? Your mind is easy to trick, but you can't trick my hunger. It demands its share. Every sip, every drop of blood will go to satiate it. I'm too weak, but you can help me and I will set this crumbled world right. Right, I'm doing this not just for myself, but for everyone, in the name of good. So be grateful for my hard work and just let me bleed you dry. I'm dead. He has attack speed. He's healing, he's healing. Kill him. Perfect. Oh my god. This is intense. Pause. Vampires often owned our lands. They kept the, the peace and helped our settlements to prosper. But this won't do at all. Now they're just pale shadows of their former selves, both physically and mentally. 
Apparently, the blood of other creatures can't sustain them. He wasn't joking about the hunger. Even the creatures that stand near him are imbued with the power to devour someone else's life. I want to pause. Ah. A lot of meadows here. Come on, Vampire. We're evading like crazy. Our evade encounter is insane. Pause. Pause. Ho. Meadow. 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 Another road lantern. This is getting intense. More max HP. Alrighty, I should probably end up on this loop. This loop is getting dangerous. I have a lot of resources. I want to just make it through here. Oh boy. This is a lot of damage. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright. Come on, buddy. Can I make it through here? Pause. Oh my god, more attack speed. Is that good for me or bad for me? Should I do it? I have 115 life. And uh, I have some rough fights ahead of me. Let's hold on here. That's a ghost. Oh, it's a gargoyle. Artificial life. Attacks. Uh, 41 damage. Whoa, kill that gargoyle, please. Good job, good job. I need max HP badly. I gotta survive a goblin fight. <laughs> a goblin fight and a skeleton fight. Oh, what is this? Vampirism. Oh my god, vampirism is great, right? That gives me healing. Let's try it out. I need that. Vampirism came right in time, nick of time. I'm gonna use it to heal. I'm gonna heal off this goblin, please. Vampirism, save me. Heal. Oh boy. I have 18 life. Oh, more max HP. This is fantastic. I don't have counter, but I get a max HP. I need it. I need the max HP. I'm low on defense, though, because I might. All right, let's go. I got to beat this. That's all I got to do. Oh, yes. Pause. Add a mountain. All right, I'm ending my loop here. I'm ending my loop here. Holy smack. So before I end the loop, I should probably try Oblivion, yeah? The day rolled over and I got... So because the day rolled over, it was a new day, I, I healed um, 31 HP. Oh my god, look at the mountain. Mountain peak. A stone giant could support the sky itself if it weren't already gone. Plus 120 HP. Plus 5 additional HP for every adjacent mountain rock tile. Spawns a harpy every 2 days. Oh, we're spawning harpies now. Whoa, okay. I need a rest. I'm low on life. If I were to do Oblivion... So, it's just a little bit of like... I don't know how to say this. I keep all my stuff, right? If I do Oblivion, I'm gonna assuming I do. Because it says it raises all the established tiles and all the monsters in the road. I'm assuming I... I keep all my stuff. But I lose all these tiles, which is unfortunate. But let's try it out. Oh, it's only in a radius? Is it only in a radius? Huh? Erases any established tiles, erases much from the road. Let's try it on the goblins. Alright. I should stop here. I have a lot of max HP, yes. I don't think I make another... 
loop. I don't think I can make another loop here. This feels like a fair assessment. I'm gonna get out of here. The thought of leaving the battlefield and going back to your cozy campus passed through your mind. What a timely idea. The camp is just around the corner. You keep all resources. Wonderful. I can't believe it. Hey, everybody. The boys managed to return. Survivors. Does this mean I'm not alone anymore? Where did you come from? Is there a still place of all darkness? We don't know where we came from. Why, or we can't remember. These people you see are only a small part of what's left on the group of the group, I think. You're not sure? We're not sure. We reached that conclusion because of the abandoned luggage and leftover daily rations. With each day, new signs, of, new signs of presence of people that, as far as everyone here knows, have never even been with us. It's like we forgot them. You forgot? Exactly. It's like people disappear every day and we instantly forget that they even existed. Almost as if we forgot the place we came from and our families, and maybe even ourselves. My name is Yota. That's the part I still remember. Nobody else, nobody else's memory is in much better shape. That's why I remember so little about myself. Everything is forgotten. But wait, you said that I'd, I'd managed to return. That means you remembered I was here. Yes, that's why it's so important to us. We saw you leave, but you were gone before we could approach you. Listen, we can't wander around in this emptiness anymore. There's a campfire and a few sleeping bags here. A real luxury in these dark times. What do you say? Oh, of course. I'd be very grateful if we could team up. I want to restore everything. I've begun to remember the world as it was before. But there's no point to it without other people. It's too lonely without them. Remembering the world? I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm too exhausted. But we'd be glad if you could help us, and we'd be glad to help you. Just don't ask us to go with you. I don't know how you managed to return, but for us, leaving the group is too dangerous. I will ask no such thing as you. For now, I would just want to have a place to return to. A place where I could hear other people's voices. How sweet. We weren't joking about helping you. Here are the few things that survived the cataclysm and don't vanish away. Can't be forgotten. Take them. You might need them. Oh boy. Alrighty. I've got three. I got eight stable wood. I've got 11 rations, almost got a whole food supply, I'm one ration short. I've got 14 noticeable changes, almost got a metamorphosis. Got 6 preserved rocks. Got 12 scrap metal, almost got a whole stable metal. I got 2 stable metals. And it's got some preserved uh, pebbles. Alright, so look at the build. So we can build a field kitchen. A very important place for any camp. If your nose is in line, there is good food here. Plus 10% to the campfire's healing power. Unlocks the Blood Grove card. Ooh, more healing power. That sounds fantastic. Yes, sir. Build that right here. Do you know the difference between a good cook and a bad cook? The food made by a good cook is tastier. What? You waiting for something more elaborate? Sometimes the truth is very simple. Look, I have a cauldron, a hearth, a couple of knives, a bucket of potatoes, three onions, and some ham. Nothing special. Everything is very simple. But give me a few minutes and everyone in this camp will be running to my table following the tasty smell of a good stew. I believe you. What else can we build? Alright, so if we save up some of these resources, we can eventually get some of these things. Let's take a look. A smithy looks interesting. There's always work for a blacksmith, apocalypse or not. Let's do start with an expedition with basic warrior's gear. Unlocks the ability to craft tools for the camp if the supply depot is built. Herbalist hut. The hands of the herbalists always remember how to mix dried herbs and brew healing potions. Potions heal 4% of max HP. You could take up to 3 potions with you. 2 potions are refilled at the camp. Unlocks the swamp card. A refuge. In these dire times, it's your duty to help. To offer help to the needy. It can only be built next to a fueled kitchen. Unlocks a new class, the rogue. Whoa. I can unlock a rogue. I can also unlock the village. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm gonna keep these resources for now. Save up for these. I'm still missing two two uh, two food supplies to make this. And over here, I'm missing five rocks for a smithy. So we have to do another expedition. But we got a field kitchen, which is nice. Makes my healing at the campfire better. 
take a look at the statistics. Alright, the game time is running down. Expedition took 38 minutes. We took only one expedition. We retreated to camp twice. One was the, the uh, tutorial. Maximum of loops at a single expedition was 6. We've got 85 kills. We've killed 4 goblin leaders, 3 goblins, 2 vampires. Okay, very cool. 6 chests. I haven't been killed yet. Amazing. I want to keep that that way. Land cards laid out 65. Tau's placed 72. Oh, I love these stats. It's wonderful.